Hello STEM students, it's pre-calculus time. Are you ready for our second lesson which is entitled as circles? And here are our learning competencies. It says here we're going to define circles. We're going to determine the standard form of equation of a circle. And of course, we are going to graph a circle in a rectangular coordinate system. Okay. Let us have first the very first um, competency, which is we're going to define what is a circle. When you say a circle, a circle is a set of all points equidistant to a fixed point. Okay? And that fixed point is called now your center. And on the other hand, the equidistant is called now your radius. Equal distances from your center, the points along the circle now is called your radius. Okay, let's have now the equation of a circle. And take a look on this figure, which is plotted on a Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, you are asked here, what will be the coordinates of that center and how long is the radius? Okay, so take a look on that figure. And today, we're going to discuss now the standard form of the equation of a circle. We have two types. A circle whose center is at the origin with radius r. There you have, which is the formula x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Of course, r stands there for the radius. On the other hand, the second type of the standard form of the equation of a circle is called now your circle whose center has coordinates at, uh, with radius, which now your coordinates would be at hk. Okay? So the only difference from the first one it's now um, x minus h quantity square plus y minus k quantity square equals r square. So again, for these two standard forms of the equation, it's just a matter of substituting the values of your x or simply the values of your h and k. And of course, your radius. Let's have some examples here. And center that origin you are asked here to write the standard form of the equation of the circle centered at the origin okay and we have now the radius of four so a while ago we have just discussed the first form so we are going to use x square plus y square equals r square so that's so what i have told you a while ago it's just a matter of substituting the values of your x and y and then your r so therefore the equation now is Yes, there you have it. We have x squared plus y squared equals 16. Because once you substitute r with 4 and then square that, 4 squared is 16. Let's have another one. Okay, still center at origin. Write the standard form of the equation of the circle with center at origin and a radius of 8. Okay, yes, you're right. The answer there is x squared plus y squared equals 64. Because your r is 8, you just square it. 8 squared is 64. Let's have this time. How about center dot hk? So write the standard form of the equation of the circle with center at negative 2, 5 and a radius of 7. Okay, so bear in mind from our second form, which is at hk, just a matter again of substituting your value of your h and your k. So from there, we have now an equation which is x plus 2 quantity squared. Why is it positive 2? Because once you substituted negative 2 and then negative in your formula, so negative times negative, it's positive. The same through with y, so y minus 5 quantity square. And of course, why is it 49? Because once you substituted r, which is 7, and then square it, 7 square is 49. Okay, let's have the last example for hk. Write the standard form of the equation of the circle with center at 5, negative 6, and a radius of 10. So anyone? Yes, you're right. We have x minus 5 quantity square plus y plus 6 quantity square equals 100. Okay? So again, the same. Substitute, uh, substitute the values of h and k. Consider the signs. And of course, square now your value of your radius. Okay? Let's proceed. How about if we are going to determine the center and the radius? It's a reverse this time given the equation and you're asked here for the specific 
which is the center and the radius. Okay, what will be the equi uh, the center of the and the radius of a circle whose equation is? Okay, there you have it, and it is now um, the given is in um, center at h k. So it's just a matter of extracting your values of your h and your k. So negative two there, you're going to um, extract that one, so it becomes positive two, and then the other one positive six becomes negative six. So it will be our center, and of course your radius is just a matter of extracting also its roots. So therefore, the center now is centered at two negative six, and its radius is two units. Okay, again, it's just a reverse analogy with what we have done. It's just a matter of extracting your values of your h and k, and the same true with your values of your radius. Let's try this one. Center and radius of a circle whose equation is x plus 3 quantity square plus y minus 1 quantity square equals 12. Okay, the answer is, there you have it, the center is negative 3 and 1. And then of course the radius is 2 squared of 3. Okay, uh, don't worry about that one. Well, how did you arrive with 2 squared of 3? Um, we, you could just calculator and you could have the specific value. Okay, with that value of your 2 squared of 3. So again, it's just a matter of extracting your square root of 12. Okay, let's proceed. This time, we are going to... Um, so a while ago, we are done with the standard form. But this time, we are on the general form of the equation. Okay, so bear in mind, as what we have um, discussed during our introduction to conics. Okay? That the equation of a circle, the general form of the equation of a circle is, you, you bear in mind that your variable x and y are said to be in the second degree, and of course, their coefficients are the same. Okay, so we have ax squared plus ay squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals 0. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, you are going to convert or transform or rewrite the standard form to general form okay we have here the first example x plus 4 quantity square plus y minus 9 quantity square equals 196 so you notice it is written in the standard form and we are going to rewrite that in the general form so how do we get that one so here are our steps okay so um, we're going to expand now the value of, of the first binomial, which is with respect to your x. So x plus 4 quantity square, expand that one. So we have x square, okay, plus, of course, the values of your um, second term. So we have x and 4, you multiply it times 2, and then, of course, square the value of the second term. So we have 2 times x times 4, and then 4 is squared. Okay, so we have now x squared plus 8x plus 16. Okay, and of course, the second one is you're going to expand also your second binomial, which is with respect to y. So y minus 9 square, quantity square, you just expand that one. So y squared plus 2 times y times negative 9, plus, of course, square your last term, which is negative 9. So therefore, y squared minus 18y plus 81. So after expanding the two binomials, the next one is you're going to um, rewrite or transform or transpose your constant to the other side. Okay, so we have there. Actually, we are using the word transposition, but of course the the term there would be addition and subtraction of equality. Okay, so we're going to subtract both sides 196. So there you have negative 196. So arranging it, we have x squared plus 8x plus 16. That's the expansion of your first binomial. And then y squared minus 18y plus 81. That's the second expansion of your second binomial. And then, of course, negative 196 from your subtraction of equality, which is uh, both sides. So we have there 196, then equate to 0. Then we are not yet done there. The last step would be we are going to arrange in the form of our general form and uh, simplifying further, okay, especially the constants. So we have here, and so there you have arrange it x square plus y square, then followed by the value a uh, variable of x, 8x 
minus 18y. Okay. Then, of course, all our constants, 16 plus 81 minus 196. So, with that, we have negative 99 equals 0. So, therefore, our, uh, our standard form, x plus 4 quantity square plus y minus 9 quantity square equals 196. The general form of that is simply x square plus y square plus 8x minus 18y minus 99 equals 0. Okay? So, again, when we convert standard form to general form, it's just a matter of you expand your two binomials, okay, and then simplify it further. Combining like terms, especially your constant term. Then, of course, the general form is always equated to zero. Okay, this time, we are going to convert vice versa. The given now is the standard form, uh, from general form to standard form. A while ago, it's a standard form to general form. This time, general form to standard form. Okay, let's have an example. x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y minus 2 equals 0. Okay, so here are our steps. We're going first to arrange. Okay, um, combine and arrange, of course, our variable with respect to its, the first one is x and then with respect to y and then your constant should be um, always written on the other side okay and you notice there that we have already uh, blanks because we are going to apply completing the square okay so in our middle term negative 2 okay, divided by 2 then square it it's 1 so that value now should be written on your first blank and okay always remember that once you write 1 there on the other side okay, to be balanced write it also plus 1 on the other side okay then let's proceed with the second blank. Our second blank there is with respect to y. So our middle term there is negative 6. So negative 6 divided by 2. Then square it. So negative 6 divided by 2, it's negative 3. Square it, it's positive 9. So you're going to write positive 9 on the second blank. Okay. And of course, do not forget to write also 9 on the other side. Okay. So arranging it and of course simplifying it further especially our constants on the other side so we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 12 how did you arrive with 12 simply combining all your constants 2 plus 1 plus 9 is equals to 12 and of course um, you notice now that it's now a perfect square so factor it out we have x squared minus 2x plus 1 when you factor it we have x minus 1 quantity square the same true on your variable y. y squared minus 6y plus 9. We have to factor it. We have y minus 3 quantity square equals 12. Okay? So, again, therefore, from our general form, x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y minus 3 equals 0. When we transform that or rewrite that one in the standard form, we have x minus 1 quantity square plus y minus 3 quantity square equals 12. Okay? So, that is all about converting or rewriting, transforming your equations to the different forms from standard form to general form and then to general form to standard form. Okay? This time, we are going to graph circles. Okay? So, um, the given here is you are asked to graph a standard form. Okay? We have x minus 2 quantity square plus y minus 3 quantity square equals 9. Okay? Bear in mind and take note when we are going to graph circles, okay? we need to consider first the center of the circle and then the length of your radius. So from there, it is, is um, through observation, you could, you could notice that we could identify at once our center. And, of course, the value of our R. Just a matter of what? Extracting both sides, uh, your um, H and K and your radius. So, therefore, our center is, we have 2, 3, and, of course, our R is 3 units. Okay. So, from our Cartesian coordinate system, okay, our Cartesian plane, the first thing to consider is we're going to plot your center, which is 2, 3. So, 2, 3. Where is that first? Um, with respect to your x, we plot two units to the right because it's positive. And then uh, from there, 
three units upward. So, we have there. There you have it. Then, of course, not forget to label. Okay. And then, after plotting your, your center, consider this time the length of your radius. So, we are going to start with three units to the right. So, from the center, three units to the right. We have one, two, three. Okay. And then, there you have then three units downward one two three okay then three units to the left one two three there you have and of course three units upward one two three there you have it okay so after um determining your length of your radius okay from right side downward left side upward okay the next thing is you're going to connect or draw a curve using this time your compass okay so connect that that's there you have the graph of a circle x minus 2 quantity square plus y minus 3 quantity square equals 9 okay let's try another one okay but what if this time the given is um general form so from our discussion a while ago we're going to transform or rewrite that equation in the standard form okay by completing the square so there you have it our standard form is x plus 1 quantity square plus y minus 2 quantity square equals 16 so how did you arrive with that try to solve it because we have just discussed on how to rewrite or transform our general form to standard form and we could easily identify now your center and of course the length of your radius so our center would be negative 1 and positive 2 and of course your um, radius has 4 units okay considering this time our Cartesian plane okay first plot of course the center so we have their negative 1 2 so that means um, your with respect to your x it's negative 1 so it's uh, on the left side so you count negative 1 so 1 unit to the left and then two units upward so there you have okay then after that consider the length of your radius so four units um, from the center four units to the right so one two three four there you have it then from the center again four units downward one two three four okay there you have and then four units again to the left one two three four okay and then of course finally four units upward one two three four there you have okay and of course with the use of your compass you could now connect the uh, connect the dots okay and of course when you connect that it's simply a curve okay so there you have the graph of the circle with a given equation x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y minus 11 equals 0 okay so let's sum it up or generalize what we have discussed all about circles okay so we have defined a circle we all know that when you say circle it's said to be set of all points equidistant to a fixed point okay bear in mind with that that fixed point is called your center and of course the, equi uh, the equal distances from the center to along points along the circle is called now your radius we have also discussed equation of circles um, the standard form okay and of course the general form take note also when you see standard form we have two types we have center at origin and center at hk and always remember for your general form it is always equated to zero okay and of course we have also discussed on how to graph circle okay uh, when we are to graph a circle we consider first to plot or identify our coordinates of your center and of course the length of your radius okay and of course we're going to connect it by making a curve using a compass okay so thank you guys for listening and of course you um i'm hoping that you have learned something today from our from our discussion and see you again on our next lesson and always remember or bear in mind handang isip handa bukas tara na ML na tayo. Okay? So, thank you again and see you in our next lesson.
Bye.